guys and girls. In this video, we're going to take a look at the best coffee machines. I've made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion. And I've listed products based on quality, durability, price and more. I've included options for every type of consumer. So if you're looking for an entry level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want to win one of the coffee machines in the video, just subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with the hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify them when we reach 5,000 likes. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best coffee machines on the market right now. Coming in number 10, we've got the Sage Bambino Plus. Sage's entry-level machine might cost more than most on the list, but it does a good job of justifying the expense. Its brushed metal and fancy plastic exterior look the part, and the compact, sturdy design fits easily into small kitchens. It also helps that it makes a mean espresso, but the clincher is the automatic milk texturing, even if you haven't got the faintest idea of what you're doing. The Bambino products steam milk with a dense, creamy microfoam at the touch of a button. Our only complaint is that it doesn't eke the most flavor from the finest coffee. Taste tested alongside the pricier machines here, the Bambino Plus struggles to deliver the rich, complex taste profiles from top-notch coffee. For example, the Gaja Classic reviewed on number 3 on this list is simply in a different league. That said, the Bambino Plus is head and shoulders above cheaper machines. So, if you want a compact, affordable, easy to use espresso machine, it's a very smart choice. Number 9. Breville Orco Touch If Sage's Bambino Plus is just too daunting a prospect, but you still want a high-end espresso machine, then the Oracle Touch could be for you. Where the Bambino requires a healthy dash of skill, and its standard assaults you with an array of buttons, the Oracle Touch replaces the lot with a friendly, bright, colorful touchscreen. Pick from one of the preset drink types, and it will take you from coffee beans to delicious cappuccino, lattes, flat white, or more without befuddling you along the way. At its heart, this is the Sage Bambino with a friendlier face. It too has a dual boiler design that allows you to steam milk and pull espresso simultaneously. And the results are, it has to be said, equally impressive. Just don't blame us if it sets you on the slippery slope towards full-blown manual espresso obsession. Coming in number 8, Nespresso Virtuo Plus Looking to add a pod machine to your life, the Nespresso Virtuo Plus is convenient and easy to use, creating great tasting coffees of all types and sizes. And if grinding beans and sourcing single origin coffee aren't your jam, pods are likely a better fit. Think of it as a capsule coffee machine 2.0. Nespresso's Virtuo recyclable pods come with built-in barcodes, which the machine reads in order to tailor its blending technique, with the pod spinning up to 7,000 times a minute to create some impressively rich crema. If short on space, the Virtuo Plus is worth taking into consideration. The Virtuo Plus has a movable water tank, surprisingly useful if you're finding somewhere to house this in your office or in your flat. And of all the machines we've tried, it's one of the most compact and intrusive. So if you are into a range of coffee flavors and not microfoam, then you'll have struck gold. Coming in number 7, Melita Cafio Barista TS Smart. The Melita Cafio Barista TS has one of the favorite fully automatic coffee machines in the market, and the smart version only improves matters. It produces a range of espresso-based drinks that are almost as good as a manual machine can make. And turning to its features, the Melita is incredibly fully featured, with two bean hoppers allowing you to produce a variety of coffees. It can produce a huge variety of different drinks, right from the touch panel on the front. The new smart version, which is currently the same price, adds Bluetooth, which allows you to control the entire drink creation process down to the temperature and the order in which the various elements are delivered to your cup. Number 6. Gaja Anima While many bean-to-cup machines soar effortlessly towards the 1,000-pound mark, 
Gaggia's Anima hits a rather keener price point. While you don't get such luxurious as one-touch cappuccino options without stepping up your budget, the Anima is capable of making a very decent espresso lungo. And you'll get the chance to refine your own milk frothing skills with the Anima Steam Wand. Though there are some minor moans, the espresso isn't quite up there with the best, and we would like a finer grind option from the Gaja's inbuilt grinder. The espresso isn't quite up there with the best, and we would like a finer grind option from the Gaja's inbuilt grinder, but the overall quality is enough to make for a fine buy. Coming in at number 5, Lavazza Jolie Plus. Lavazza's answer for Nestle's Nespresso family is its range of a Moto Mio coffee capsules and compatible machines. And it's fair to say they're every bit as good as the competition. The design is superbly simple. The capsules simply drop into place at the top of the machine and the large silver handle locks them into position. The two backlit buttons on the top let you choose from either espresso, 30 milliliters, or Lungo, 100 milliliters shots of coffee. And you can tailor those to get just the right amount of coffee into your morning cup. Dab either button and you'll get a fresh coffee in under 30 seconds. You can accommodate larger cups to mugs by removing the plastic insert. What's more, there's a decaffeinated option if that's important to you. And the Jolie Plus delivers decent coffee with zero faffs. Coming in number 4, Cuisine Art 14 Cup Programmable Coffee Touchscreen. Cuisine Art launches its new T-Series line with a coffee maker that is going to change the dynamic of today's kitchen. Intuitive touchscreen controls let coffee lovers tap icons to choose the start time, shutoff time, number of cups, and strength settings. When the coffee maker is not in use, the LCD screen goes to sleep, creating an ultra-sleek look in your kitchen. Simply touch the power icon to wake up the screen when you're ready to brew. This premium coffee maker even brews hotter and has two filters that protect the rich coffee flavor. It's superb coffee and brand new look kitchens are going to love. Number 3. Gaja Classic At around the 400 pound mark, you used to have two choices, Sage's Excellent Barista Espresso and Gaja's Superb Classic. Thanks to the global pandemic, however, that's all changed. Prices have soared on many of the Sage machines, and as a result, the Barista Espresso is now closer to the 600 pound mark than it is to 400 pounds. That left the Gaja Classic as the undisputed champion in the sub 500 pound category. The Classic lacks the integrated burr grinder of the Sage, and bear in mind that a basic one of those will cost at least 50 pounds more. But it makes vastly better coffee. It might take a little more effort to get the very best out of the Classic, but at its best, it's unbeatable for the money and capable of serving up the kind of coffee which equals or betters even far pricier machines. Coming in number 2, Sage Barista Pro. If you're looking for an all-in-one manual espresso machine, then the Barista Pro takes some beating. While cheaper all-in-one machines can make half-decent espressos, the Barista Pro is capable of almost every drop of flavor from the finest coffee beans. It's also far more consistent than cheaper machines. Its integrated burr grinder accurately delivers the same amount of ground coffee time after time, and the volumetric sensor pushes the same amount of water through the coffee for a simple pitch perfect cup of espresso. Number 1. DeLonghi Dedica Style Looking for a basic espresso machine around the 200 pound mark? The DeLonghi Dedica Style has reclaimed the top spot. It's a simple machine with little in the way of frills, but the slimline design means that it squeezes into even the tightest kitchens, and it makes a reasonable espresso to boot. It has risen a price a little bit from around 140 pounds to its current 190 pounds, but it's still very affordable. Is it all perfect? No. You don't get anywhere near the depth of flavor of even the Sage Bambino Plus, and it's a million miles from the likes of the Gaja Classic or pricier Sage machines. If you're serious about espresso, then you simply need to spend more. However, the Dedica is very simple to use. You can bung in supermarket ground coffee or grind the coffee yourself. And the Dedica's pressurized baskets mean that it's pretty forgiving if the grind is too coarse or too fine, or when you haven't got the amounts quite right. The downside remains that the results can be rather inconsistent. 
So if you want the very best results from expensive single origin coffees, then we'd strongly recommend that you spend more. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best coffee machines. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.